Turning other people's trash into treasure is something Goodwill's been doing for decades. In fact, there's a woman in Connersville who made a special find for just five bucks. Ellen Carter shows us her story. Well, hey, listen, you know, if you go to the Goodwill, you can leave with all kinds of fun little cool items like this Pepe Le Pew. Well, I don't really know what it is. Or a handmade dollhouse. But one woman left this store in Shelbyville with what she thought was one thing ended up being something completely unexpected. It was the box that first caught Lori Voltz's eye. I don't know. I really liked it. It looks raw. But when she left the store and opened it up, found something that was so much more. I like that one too. At least a dozen moments. Even this one. This one's awesome. Captured. And if you ask Lori. They're so pretty. Quite well. I think this is one of my favorites. It's just, I don't know, it says a lot. Pictures so well done that even Lori, who was a photographer herself, said. Um, I don't know if she does it for a living or if it's just a hobby. Um, but she's very talented. Pictures of landmarks, of people. Uh, this one. And pets. Happy dog. A collection of work that Lori thinks no way made it to the Goodwill intentionally. I thought somebody threw her pictures out without her knowing. <laughs> or they got mixed up in something. But I just couldn't imagine that she would just throw them out as nice as they are. She now wants to find who snapped these. A name on the back provides a lead. But even after posting on Facebook, so far, no Kayla Shipley has claimed them. You know, if she didn't mean for them to be thrown out, she can have them. And if she did throw them out, I just hit a jackpot. <laughs> In Connersville, Alan Carter. Because they're really nice and I can use some of them. Channel 13, Eyewitness News. All right, so we're looking for Kayla Shipley. Maybe we'll find her. Absolutely. Yeah. You know.